Hey guys, it's Fable. Today I will be showing you how to improve your mic quality in real time. I will have time cards down below for each step. First, we will be downloading Voice Meter Banana. All the links will be down in the description. Voice Meter Banana is a virtual audio mixer. Before you download Voice Meter Banana, I would like you to watch what I do first since you will be losing audio during the process. So first, what we want to do is to go ahead and set up our output device. On the top right of the app, we have our A1 source. I'll be selecting my headphones with the MME source. That doesn't appear, you can use the WDM source for your headphones. Next, you want to make sure you have your virtual input sources toggled on. Now what we want to do is change our playback devices. There are many different ways to do this. How I will be doing this is going to my settings, then sound settings, and once I am here, change my output to headphones. Next, we will be changing our input to our voice meter output. Mine is shown as voice meter output. Yours might be different. It might show as voice meter input VAIO. If your mic does not work for any of these, what you can do is go to your discord and then change your mic until you find the one that works for you. Once you have changed your input for your mic on your sound settings, you are now able to change the same in discord or you can leave it as default. You are able to change your noise gate and pitch in voice meter. Now in this part of the video, I'll be showing you how I edit my voice audio for my videos. First, I'll be opening Adobe Audition. If you happen to not have any Adobe apps, I do have a video how you can safely get all Adobe products for free will be linked in the description or the top right of this video. Once we are in Adobe Audition, we will click record. This will open up a new audio file and we'll go ahead and name it whatever you would like to proceed with the voiceover. Once you have recorded your voiceover, the next thing you want to do is go to your effects, amplify and compression, then dynamics. Once here, we'll click on the checkbox for auto gate. For me, negative 26 dB for the threshold tends to be best. It might be different for everyone, so feel free to mess with it to your liking. What I normally do next is add denoise and this will be in the noise reduction effects. Feel free to change the percentage until it's to your liking. Now cut up your audio and clean up any dead space until it sounds good for you. I've shown you in this video how to set up and edit your audio. If you happen to have any problems during this process, feel free to join my Discord and ask me for help. I'm more than happy to help people who need it. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to comment down below if this has worked for you. And if this has helped you in any way, please feel free to subscribe.